Jesus, what are you saying, people? Season number two. I can't believe it. I just want to say a massive thank you for clicking on this video. It does mean a lot. We do put a lot of hard work and effort into these videos. So if you do enjoy them, thank you, I guess. Today, I'm going to show you how to make halloumi fries five different types of ways. We've got a healthy one, we've got the OG, we've got a crunchy one, a bacon one, and a fajita one. Pull it! Right, before you get started with these sexy little snacks, you want to cut up the halloumi into like fry size pieces. Jeez. Next, you want to go and get yourself three bowls. One with some flour, some corn flour, and some turmeric. The turmeric adds a little color and the corn flour adds the crispiness. It's like the secret weapon. Crack an egg into the other bowl cheese into the flour then into the egg then back into the flour and finally stick it in that fryer you want to cook them until like they're golden brown and i'll tell you something they don't take long at all i think this batch took 15 seconds maybe 20 so yeah keep an eye on it and whatever you do don't be stupid and use your hands like i am boom look at that mad oh my days I decided just to stick these in a wrap with a few leaves with a little bit of this beautiful curried yogurt sauce that I made. If you do want to know how to make this recipe, do not worry, I'm going to go step by step through with you in an upcoming episode. Cheese! The bacon one. This is like a double cooking method, a little bit harder. You want to start by sticking your oven on to 200 degrees Celsius, get yourself some bacon and cut into like ribbons, sort of like this size. Boom. Grab your bacon ribbons and wrap it around your cheese. To stop the bacon from falling off, I just stuck a couple toothpicks in and into the oven they go. I took the toothpicks off before I put it in the fryer. Um, I don't know if I'd recommend that, but yeah, that's what I did. Look at that, mate. Jesus. This one is super, super easy. Following the same rules as the OG one, you just want to grab yourself three bowls, but instead of putting flour into one, you want to put quinoa. I know what you're thinking, quinoa, that's a bit mad. And you're right, that is a bit mad. But look at this. Quick things on. Cheese! Oh my goodness me. To finish this one, I just stuck it on a little bed of rocket. Chuck some paprika on the plate, drizzled some sriracha on it, and finished it with a couple seeds. I've got some sesame and some pumpkin here. Oh yeah, I did basil as well. Right, this is where we get exciting. So you wanna start by chopping up an onion, a pepper, and another pepper. Sprinkle some spices in. I've got cinnamon, fennel, cumin, and a little bit of salt. Chuck that into an oiled up pan, and then do that. While that's happening, we want to go back to the bowls. Exactly the same as what we've done before. The only difference is I added a couple little herbs and spices into my flour. I've got some paprika in there and some garlic granule mix. Once your peppery onion mix is done, chuck in your fried halloumi and look at that. That's like some street food stuff. Finishing this one was so simple. I just put some rocket leaves on top and a sprinkling of sesame seeds. It's amazing what you can do with just like the same ingredients, isn't it? Right, probably my favourite, I reckon. Yeah, definitely. Start by grating up a carrot and a few bits of halloumi. Probably like 50-50 mixture. To that, I added some chopped up basil. A few spoonfuls of the spiced flour. And an egg. Give it a mix, a squidge, and stick it on a baking tray. You want to have your oven at about 200 degrees Celsius, and these take around 20 minutes, I think. I added a smeared spoonful of pesto and half a cut up chili just to decorate the plate. And boom, that's that. So yeah, season two, episode one, officially done. If you do enjoy these recipes, these episodes, please do tell a couple mates, or maybe even cook this for a couple mates, because yeah, every little helps. Um, if you do try this out, please comment down below and let me know like which one's your favorite. Personally, I like the healthy ones, just because I like to eat quite healthy. Um, Will said, He's, he's going for the bacon, so yeah. This whole thing, like, even with us, like, recording it, 
setting everything up, washing up, it took us like an hour, maybe even less. So if you wanna try out one of these recipes at home, it's gonna take you like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And if you cooked this up for like a few mates, mate, you're gonna be the most popular person at the party, I'll tell you that. And with that said and done, my Gs, thank you so much for watching. We have got loads in the pipeline, really interesting recipes, some simple ones, some more complex ones, some spicy ones, some sweet ones, everything. I hope you like the fact that I try to make like every recipe a different sort of skill level. So like if you try something like this, it's a little bit harder than something like this, you know what I mean? So let me know in the comments down below which one you did love the most. And with that said and done, my Gs, Give some love if you want to, give some hate if that's your thing, like, subscribe, all that lovely stuff, and I will see you in the next episode. Sweet. Huh?